Hello, and welcome to the ICC Configuration Studio tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll provide an overview of the application and demonstrate some of its features. The ICC Configuration Studio is used to configure, monitor, and diagnose installation issues for ICC devices. The layout consists of various panes which can be customized to suit a user's preference. Each pane can be independently moved, resized, combined, or hidden to customize the layout of the studio. If you ever want to go back to the default layout, simply select the Reset Layout option in the View menu. Each of the various panes is used for a specific purpose. The Project pane displays the configuration of devices in the current project using a tree-style layout. Elements can be added and removed from the Project pane to create the configuration for a device. The selected item in the Project pane determines what's displayed in all other panes. There are two main elements in the project pane, device configurations and online devices. All device configurations in the current project are shown under the device configurations heading. The online devices heading displays the connected devices with which the studio has gone online. The available items pane displays a list of items which can be added to the currently selected element in the project pane. The title of this pane changes to reflect the types of items which can be added to the selected element. For example, when the Online Devices heading in the Project pane is selected, this pane displays all connected devices discovered by the studio. The Settings pane displays the configurable fields for the currently selected element in the Project pane. The title of this pane changes to indicate which element the fields belong to. The Project Summary pane provides a hierarchical text summary of the selected element in the Project pane and all of its child elements. The summary can be saved to a text file by clicking on the Export Summary option in the File menu. The Object List pane displays a list of protocol objects and their settings for the selected protocol element in the Project pane. Double-clicking on an object in the Object List will select that object in the Project pane and display the object settings and summary. The object list can also be saved to a CSV file by clicking on the Export Object List option in the File menu. The Database pane can be used to monitor and inject values into a connected device's internal database. It also highlights areas in the database where objects are mapped, using different colors to distinguish between different objects. The Objects view in the Database pane shows the list of objects that are mapped to the device's internal database. The database mappings can be saved to a CSV file by clicking on the Export Database Mappings option in the File menu. The Diagnostics pane is used to help diagnose connection issues between an ICC device and other devices. It shows information about requests that the ICC device makes to the other devices, such as the number of transmissions, receptions, and errors. To display information in the Diagnostics pane, a diagnostics object must be added to the service object in the device's configuration. The address entered in the Diagnostics Database Address field will automatically be added into the Diagnostics pane. I hope this tutorial has made you more familiar with the ICC Configuration Studio and taught you about some of its features. If you'd like to learn more about how to use the ICC Configuration Studio, take a look at the other tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.